Alright, it's time for bull pick number three for New Year's Eve, December 31st, and this one is the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, one of the most peculiar matchups in college football's bowl season this year. It features the Rice Owls, the Conference USA champions, going up against the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Hail State. I'm an SEC fan, so you're going to hear me say that a lot, but... Okay, we're going to start this off by talking about Rice. The Conference USA, they were... They weren't predicted to win this this year. They kind of came up out of the blue a little bit, and they did it by running the football. These guys aren't big on passing it. McCargue, I can't even say his name. I think that's how you say it. Had 2,261 yards and 17 touchdowns. They only averaged 185 yards a game passing. That's 101st in the nation. However, running the ball, they were able to put up 240 a game, 15th overall. And they scored 31 points a game while only giving up 22, which not too bad. Um, they played sort of a cushy schedule. They started off the year with a rough one at Texas A&M. That was the game that Johnny Football couldn't play for the first half of, but Texas A&M still drilled them 52-31. to Good showing by their offense in that game, but their defense just couldn't hold them. Nah, they really never stood much of a chance, honestly. But after that, they played pretty solid throughout the year. They beat Kansas 23-14, not a bad win. They lost to Houston 31-26, but Houston was a tough team in the American this year, so you can't really fault them for that. Uh, they were able to hold out and win almost all the rest of their games, beating Florida Atlantic, Tulsa, UTSA, New Mexico State, UTEP, Louisiana Tech, UAB in overtime. Tulsa was also in overtime. A good win over Tulane 17-13, and... The only game in there they lost was to North Texas 28-16, and North Texas was a strong team, especially in the second half. Trust me, I go to Ball State. I watched my team implode against them earlier this year in the second half and lose it by turnovers. But overall, they were really solid, Bryce was this year, and they were able to actually make it to the Conference USA Championship game where they faced off against Rakeem Cato and Marshall. And Marshall was favored in it, but Rice showed up to play. The boys put up a lot of yards and a lot of points and won the game 41-24, to which propelled them into this AutoZone Liberty Bowl matchup against Mississippi State. Now, these guys, they're going to have to establish the run and run often. Mississippi State's not going to be easy to run against, but they're going to have to try. Ross is going to be their man. He had 1,252 yards, 6.2 yards per carry, and 14 touchdowns on the year. Pretty solid considering he only had 201 carries. And McCargue had 151 carries, had another 466 yards and five touchdowns himself. Pretty much every team has to have at least a little bit of a dual threat quarterback this year, and Rice is no exception. But they're going to be leaning on Ross a lot to run that football because their passing game probably will struggle a bit against Mississippi State. <clears throat> Mississippi State going into this year, the expectations weren't too high. They were kind of... Expected to finish mid-pack in the SEC, and that's really more or less what happened. Going through a brutal schedule this year, they went 6-6, six and 3-5 six, in the SEC. They didn't think, like, it, it was really close for these guys. They almost missed a bowl game. They were sitting 4-6 and six with two weeks to go. Um, but that schedule was brutal. Their losses were to Oklahoma State, who's 13th in the nation, 21-3. They heartbreaker against Auburn, 24-20. LSU drilled them 59 to 26. South Carolina, Texas A&M, and Bama beat them back to back to back in three weeks late in the year, 34 16, 51 41, and 27. But overall, they were able to get wins they were supposed to against Alcorn State, Troy, a 21 20 survival at Bowling Green, a 28 22 victory against Kentucky. And at the end of the year, they had to play at Arkansas and at home against Ole Miss to try to salvage their season and make the bowl game, and both games went to overtime, and they won both by a touchdown, 24-17 over Arkansas, and Ole Miss, if anybody remembers Bo Wallace fumbling into the end zone when Ole Miss was running in for a score, and they were able to take advantage of that, they recovered the fumble and won that game, 17-10. to uh, That propelled them into this bowl game. Uh, their quarterbacking, a little iffy at times, they're led by Dak Prescott, who missed two games, the game against Bama and the game against Arkansas. But otherwise, was there for him. He had 1,657 yards and seven touchdowns. If he can't play, they're probably going to have to go to their freshman because their secondary quarterback, Russell, is hurt out for the year. He had 875 yards and five TDs in his time this year, but he's gone. 
Um, Prescott's going to be their best passer and their best rusher. Dude had 751 yards rushing and 11 touchdowns. He's a real dual threat, actually more of a rusher than a passer. Mississippi State's going to have to look to establish the run a lot in this game. They're probably going to have a little better luck with it than Rice is just because of the weight differential on the line. I think they're going to be stronger and it's going to show. And overall, they pass for 240 a game, run for 185. Not a lot of yardage, but enough to get by. They scored 26 points a game, which is only 80th, but they only gave up 24 for 40th. Considering that schedule, that brutal schedule, they're just lucky to come out of this with a positive point differential. The last two games are really what got it for them. It's going to be a really interesting game. It's a weird matchup, really. Rice is going to have an interesting go of it. Um... Really, Mississippi State, they get a lot of interceptions. Um, Nico Whitley had five t interceptions, which is tied for second in the SEC. He's going to look to pick off the boys of Rice. It's going to be a really, oh, that's just such a strange matchup. Mississippi State's 46th in the nation rushing defense. They only give up 151 yards a game. I think that's going to be rough on Rice because they really have to establish the run in this game. Otherwise, they're in real trouble. I think Rice's best bet is if Prescott can't play and Damien Williams has to start, but I think Prescott's going to be there. I think Mississippi State's probably going to be able to pull this one out, although it could be interesting. Um, the, the spread for this has Mississippi State as seven-point favorites. Um, I don't know. Rice looks better on paper, just statistically, but when you factor in the strength of schedule, I think Mississippi State's a little stronger team here. I think Rice is really kind of outmatched. I think Mississippi State's going to be able to cover the spread because I think Rice is going to struggle to score after, after probably the first quarter when Mississippi State really gets a read on them. And I think your final score in this game is probably going to be something in the range of a 34 to 21 or 31 to 21 for Mississippi State. I'm going to say 34 to 21 with a late field goal kind of sealing the deal for it. I just think the Bulldogs are a better team in this game. I think Prescott and the boys are going to show up, especially after that huge Egg Bowl win over Ole Miss. And overall, I think that Mississippi State's going to take this one home. Good luck to Rice, though. They've had an amazing season in the Conference USA. They deserve to shout out this bowl game, and they could pull it off. So definitely tune in tomorrow and watch it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, if you think uh, the team's going to win. If you want to let me know how I did on this after the game's over, some people have come, came on and told me that I did a good job. I had one dude say I kind of struggled with one. In another video, I appreciate that kind of feedback. I kind of want to be able to talk with you guys. I'm, I'm a sports fan. I like talking sports with people, not just to people. So definitely hit me up in the comments or anything if you have anything to say. And, yeah, good luck to both teams. Enjoy this game tomorrow, guys.